Hello Linux lovers. We are going to see how to use GNOME shell extensions in Ubuntu 17.10, 18.04 or any other Linux distribution that has GNOME desktop environment. So what exactly is this GNOME shell extension? GNOME shell extension is basically a tiny piece of code that enhances the capability of your GNOME desktop. Now, in what sense? So, for example, if you got a brand new GNOME desktop, you can install some add-ons or plugins, these GNOME shell extension, which will do a specific task. For example, I have installed this GNOME shell extensions for weather display. So it displays the weather for me right on the top of the panel. Similarly, you can I can have this install this extension which shows what extensions do I have on my my GNOME desktop here. And I can just turn them on or off from here. For example, if I do this places status indicator, I'll have the places here. So you can see that you can access these instead of going to the file manager here. These are tiny, tiny plugins which are actually used for plenty of things. You'll find that it's really, really useful when you install these specific GNOME shell extensions that you get more out of your Linux desktop. So let's see how to actually install them. There are multiple ways to do that. And we're going to see the first way which is the standard way, the way Ubuntu provides tiny set of extensions. So let's go here. Install GNOME shell. Oops. Extensions. I have already installed it. So it's already installed for me. Uh, you will need a gnome tweaks tool for this so you have to install that as well and oh that has been installed as well sorry for that <laughs> but well I have everything ready with me so once you have installed the tweaks tool you can just start it and then you go into the extensions and there you will see that you have some extensions already installed uh, some extensions I have installed later but you will see like there are like 10 12 extensions and you can turn them on or off from here pretty neat but there are like hundreds of gnome shell extensions and these 10 or 12 are not gonna cut it because you, you it's possible that you read about some super cool gnome shell extension and you want to use that and of course then you won't find it in in the standard set of uh, extensions which is provided by your system so what you what are you gonna do you can actually use your web browser to install GNOME shell extensions. So just go to your web browser. Uh, what web browser are supported here? Firefox, Chrome or Chromium and Opera. So just duck duck go for shell extend. Oops. Shins. Et voila. So when you go here, you will see that there's an error which says that you have to use an ad browser extension and a native host application. So the first thing which you can obvious do is to install this browser extension. It is available as I said in Firefox, Chrome and Opera. So you have it installed, just refresh it and then you'll see that the error has been changed because we need two things here. One is the uh, browser extension, the other is the native host connector which should be installed on the system. So it's missing that. So let's go back to terminal and try to install this. Not try, we will install it actually. This native host connector. Oops, sorry. I'm a bit clumsy. This is actually called Chrome GNOME shell. 
which is surprising because you are using it for Firefox or Opera but it's still called Chrome GNOME cell extension. I don't know the historical reason for it but this is how it's, it is. So you install the host connector. Now you should be good to install GNOME shell extension from your web browser. Okay, so we have refreshed it and now we shouldn't be seeing any errors. Well, there you go. So it has been sorted by the popularity and it is showing all the extensions available. And there's this little catch actually. What happens is that these are third party plugins. This means some other developers coded something, packaged it as an extension but maybe it, he or she did it like two years ago and after that in two years you will have like four new GNOME desktop releases so it is possible that that older one doesn't work with your current version to sort out this problem what you can do is you can say that compatible with current version and then you'll see that some some of them has been removed some extensions you don't see it anymore because it automatically knows which is your gnome shell version and then you can just it can just sort it out for for you so no problem here so let's say we want to install some cool gnome shell extension which ones we should go for uh, uh, uh. do you know of any let's say we want to check internet speed net speed what do we get simple net speed will it be installed so normally if I check huh. A lot of them. Good. Yeah, just making sure. Okay, so what you'll see here is this tiny button, which is just toggle it, and it will pop up for an, an install. And if you do that, normally it has been installed. So, how exactly will you know which? or the extensions which have been installed on your system. One way is using the GNOME Tweaks tool and you, there you see it has been turned on. Another way and sort of better way is to use this website and go to installed extensions. Even if you have not been logged in with an account it will still find out the extensions installed on your system and you can configure them here and the best thing and this is the only way to update your extension is through the browser you will see that there is a green mark here which means there is an upgrade available for this extension you won't find this feature in the GNOME tweaks or even if you upgrade your system your GNOME shell extensions are not upgraded so this is in my knowledge the only way to upgrade an extension so this is why it's it's always better to use the web browser so here it is and if you want to delete an extension well you can just for example I don't want this one here and I just deleted it out of the system if you refresh you won't find it here you the GNOME tweaks you can configure the extensions but you cannot delete them from here so this is very useful the browser I mean it's one click install you can see what uh, extensions you have you can upgrade them you can delete them you can configure them a lot of things let's talk about when you don't have an internet at home I mean or for some reason you want to install it manually which means that you don't have inter active internet connection but you still want to do that so what you can do is download this extension file and then just copy paste in a specific directory and you should be fine should be so let's just install one of the apps uh, compatibility I just want it for my version 
radio internet radio so this time we won't be using this we will be using I know that my version is 3.26 if you want to know how to see that I guess there should be you see 3.26.1 so 3.26 should be fine to download extension version the latest and it has been downloaded so let's go to this one here and then you have you see something like this so what we are going to do is just extract it and then we will go to a specific directory with this copy paste go to home control H to show the hidden files go to local share and here you will find something called gnome shell go there and there you see a directory called extensions Ooh. and here we'll put this there's little catch still here it won't be available right away because we have to do a tiny bit thing here which will just go with uh, just look for a file named metadata.json open this file and you will find something called UUID copy the, the, the value of this UUID without the quotes and then go and you'll see that the UUID is not exactly the same as this file name rename it okay normally this is how it's installed manually so how do you do that let's we have to do we have to what we have to do is reset the gnome shell so alt plus function 2 will drop down uh, the command and there if you put R it will refresh or restart the gnome shell so it has been restarted if you go install extensions now it will show the internet radio it has been installed you can also find it in extensions here and of course you'll find it here so you can just turn on and configure and do whatever you want so this is how you install and of course I already show you how to upgrade and delete I hope you like this and perhaps you can tell me what are your favorite gnome shell extensions in the comments below don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow our so awesome YouTube channel have a nice day bye bye